Balanced audio. Why do we need it? In this tutorial, we'll show you how balanced audio works and the reasons that it's used. The reason balanced audio is used is because the world is a noisy place. As far as electrical signals are concerned, there is a lot of interference out there. And audio is quite susceptible to being interfered with, and you can hear it as noise and hum in your audio signals sometimes. In this drawing, I'm showing how the magnetic fields generated by an AC cord can cross over and be induced into audio cables running nearby. Here I've shown two different types of wire. First, a zip cord or lamp cord, which is about the simplest two conductor wire there is. When the magnetic lines of force cross the zip cord, it induces the hum into both lines. This is because they're both unshielded. If there's noise nearby, it will also be induced into both lines as well. The other cable is coax, which is oftentimes used for high impedance unbalanced audio, such as found in home stereo systems. These two conductors consist of a center wire surrounded by another shield wire that totally surrounds the center one, thus making a coaxial set of conductors. The outer shield is attached to ground to bleed off any noise and hum. But still, being a high impedance unbalanced line, hum and noise still gets through. One way for hum to be induced is in a typical stage setup where there's a microphone cable and a AC cable, such as from a lighting fixture that runs side by side. By running parallel for any length, the magnetic lines of force can induce hum into the microphone cable. How does balanced audio work? Well, it works by looking at the difference between the two inputs to a differential amplifier. The important thing is that the only thing being amplified is the signal compared to itself and not to ground. As you can see, the two signals are of opposite polarity, feeding the positive and negative inputs of the differential amplifier. When exactly the same input is presented to both the positive and negative inputs, no signal output is produced. So when a hum is introduced to a balanced audio line and the audio rides on top, the hum is removed because it is the same on both the positive and negative. But the audio signal is still at a phase up between the two inputs and it does produce an audio output. The same is true for noise or any other unwanted signal. If it's the same on both inputs, it is rejected and not amplified. Only the difference between the two is what's amplified. The reason balanced audio is used is that it rejects all noise and hum. And this leads us to the Balanced Audio Interconnect System, which consists of cables and connectors. Now the Balanced Audio Cable it consists of two wires wrapped around each other or twisted. They are twisted in order to keep them close together so that any noise or hum induced into one is induced in the other. And they're represented here by the red and black wires. Now the cable that they come from is also shielded, which means it has a ground shield around it. This is, consists of either aluminum foil like or a uh, braided ground made of much smaller wires. Either way, they're connected to ground to bleed off any interference that comes across the cable. The next is a three conductor connector. 
In this case, the most common one is a XLR that has a pin for ground, for the hot, and for the negative uh, or cold connection. The differential signal for the positive and negative inputs are floating above and below ground and are of opposite polarity, as you can see here. And as I said, they enter the plus and negative inputs of a differential amplifier, which produces a nice clean signal. Another type of input, besides the differential amplifier, can be a transformer. These were widely used in the past, but now electronic input and output drivers are more common. Transformers can also be used as output devices, as shown here. A single-ended input, or unbalanced input, can be transformed into a balanced output through a transformer. But again today, many outputs are driven by an electronic driver, a balanced driver, as shown here in this diagram.